when trials happen to you and me, God is pruning us. He is teaching me something. Every time pruning happens in my life, I can forgo pruning. Pwede ko namang hindi ito daanan at iwasan. I will survive, but I will experience very little fruitfulness in my life. Hindi mamumunga ang buhay ko ng tama, ng ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. In John 10, verse 10, what does it say? Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have it adequately. Tama? No! He said, I have come that you may have life, not adequately. He said, I have come that you may have life and have it fully. I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. Have it abundantly. Hindi adequately, abundantly. But abundance comes with a price. My pressure ito in this price is pruning. That's why God is testing you and me. Do you have dreams? May pangarap ba kayo sa buhay ngayong darating na bagong taon? Kung meron, many of them would require pruning before they come, become real in your life. And you want to submit to God's pruning. There are two ways that God prunes us. Ilang ways? Two ways. Number one, when God asks you to remove something from your life. Kakausapin ka ni Lord, sasabihin niya, alisin mo yan sa buhay mo para mamunga ka. Ngunit, sabay-sabay sabihin ngunit. Ang pangalawa, second, when God allows the removal of something from your life without your permission. Hindi hihingi ng Diyos ang permiso mo. Kasi nga ayaw mong gawin, but out of His love for you, He allows things to happen. 